Okay guys, we got almost 5 p.m. It's getting a bit dark outside. I know it seems light, but the color changed on my painting and it's getting dark. This is how far we came today and believe me, this brush is so heavy. My wrist hurts so much from this brush, but I like it because it's so chunky and I can just be so rough with it. I can't just play like... <laughs> Most of the time I spend on mixing colors. The painting technique I'm using is called a la prima or direct painting. I love this technique because you have to be 100% sure and confident about your brush strokes. I'm mixing a nice green for a scarf, adding vermilion red to lower the green and titanium white to lighten it up. times a day or even more. I'm sure after this painting I won't go that big again for a while because I'm not ready. I mean I still got to learn so much. I just want to do some quick ones. I think I will learn probably faster by doing smaller paintings. What I don't like, this area is too dark. We have to make it more light, like she's glowing, and make her head on the side a bit higher. And I think that will be enough for today. Hey guys, I think I painted today for 7 hours or 8. <sighs> what time is it? It's 9 p.m. My upper shoulder hurts so much. I need to remember to take breaks, so you got to take care of yourself. I'm trying to paint for 1 or 2 hours and I'm using my daylight lamp. Let's go. This is video footage from a month ago and I can't believe that I'm so dumb. Oh, my arm hurts so much. <laughs> but I'm going to paint for two more hours. What the hell? How dumb? How dumb? <gasps> I woke up in the morning and I was like, I can't move my hands. I couldn't do this. Also, turning my, my whole arm, just sitting around was painful. Everything was painful. I had to quit painting for a whole week because I have no life. <laughs> I couldn't manage to balance my life. I can't do one thing the whole time. And yes, I want to get really, really good at painting, but this is not the right way to do it. Next day I still kept painting on, even though I had um, our hour in my hands. Do you say that in English? Our hour? No, you don't say it. never tried this because I was always really scared about this technique. You don't do an under sketch with a pencil, you just sketch with your color. Bro, this is so awesome. <laughs> I mean, she looks so flawless. I don't know how much did I paint. I think like 10 minutes. And, and 10 minutes? I can literally eat something in just one day. This is the best thing of a month or of a year, of the last years even. <laughs> This is something I always wanted to achieve. The day I started painting, really focused painting, I was like, damn, these old people, they are so sick. I want to be like them. I think I reached another level of getting closer to those, to those people. Okay guys, I'm going to erase her whole eye. I can't fix it. I'm just going to paint it over and paint it again. <laughs> Wish me luck. In case you make a mistake, paint it over. Don't try fixing it for one or two hours. Just wipe the paint off and do it again. And I promise you, it will look so much better than your first try. It will look good. You can correct your mistakes.
This is not the first time that I injure my hand, so I know how to handle it. But I want to remind you and myself to take care of your body and your mental health. But always try to push yourself to get better. You can't do something out of nothing. You need basics, knowledge, passion, things that inspire you. And I know all of us are going through struggle in life, but you have to go through that struggle because you will grow. Look, in 10 minutes, in 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, Versus 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs>